Hello and welcome to the 36 week pregnancy workout. Third one of this week. We have body weight, arms, and legs. We already have all that added nice pregnancy weight going on here. So we're gonna utilize it for this workout. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna alternate between legs and arms. Six moves, two rounds. We're gonna get started with our 15 minute workout and get right into it. Here we go with a side step for our warm up. You can add those arms in, get those going. There you go. So I'm recording this at the end of May and it is 90 degrees out. Heat index of 100. I'm not doing very well at the heat. So air conditioning it is right now. Woo! There you go. And we're gonna take it and tap it back, alternate. Tap it back, using those arms again with our warm up. So Dada took kiddo to the pool today, a family member who has an above ground pool. So that's where they're at, I'm a little jealous. Although my energy is sticking with the air today, so that's where I'm at. And I get to be working out with you. Now bring it to side step again with arms up. Kind of like a jumping jack. We'll be doing that move as well. Bring it to center and just a little bit of a squat. Up and then and down. Pushing that butt back, weight and heels. Chest is up, engaging that core and pushing baby towards the spine. I'm gonna show you our first move which is like we're gonna get in a position of play. We're gonna be coming up for a few steps and then we're gonna be going back. And then we're gonna be doing leg lift one side, leg lift the other, and then going forward. Here we go. So heels are touching. You have that diagonal pose. Bring it back. Leg lift. And then leg lift other side. Bring it forward. Four times, bring it back. Leg lift, leg lift. Take your time on that leg lift. Woo! Use the space that you have. Bring it back. Woo! Leg lift. There you go. Bring it forward. And take it back. Finish out leg lift. Leg lift. Nice. And now we have our arm move. So we get bent over, we're gonna be pushing palms towards the ceiling. Just like that. Get in position, here we go. Bend those knees. It's a good one to work on your core too. Pushing baby towards the spine and practice your breathing. You can even do work on zipping everything up at the bottom as you're doing your arm pulses. Breathe out. Baby towards the spine, really good for the pelvic floor. So if you, when you breathe out, you tuck everything up, zipping it up towards your belly button. Woo! Keep it up, five more seconds. Nice. And now we're gonna be doing jumping jacks. I'll be doing modified. We're doing four, and then we're gonna be squatting two steps, and then four jumping jacks again. So you can go ahead and start on either side. Start with the jumping jacks, four of them. Two, three, four, squat down, two steps. And then back to your jumping jacks. And squat. Woo. And squat. Here we go. Woo. Bring it down, really feel it until it's glutes. Your weight is in your heels when you're doing those squats. There you go, looking good. Woo! Pointing those toes on those jumping jacks. Rest, nicely done. And now we have crushers for our arms. 
I like to call these because I feel like I'm crushing something. So we're doing that four times, and then we'll be bringing it to a prayer and then pulsing. You're in position right here, crush. Woo, really feel it. Two, three, four, and pulse it right here four times. Three, four, bring it back to the crushers. Woo, really use that resistance. In prayer, pulse. Back now, Ooh. like you're going through water. Really feel that resistance. Pulse it out. Back to crushers. And pulse it out. Back to crushers. Okay, I added in a little bit of side stuff here naturally. And rest. Nice work. Now we have reverse lunge. Doesn't matter which side you start on. We're going to be reversing it, going down four times, and then we're going to be pulsing it four times. You can modify it with just doing a toe tap right here. Bring it down to that reverse lunge, pulse, or four times down, and now to our pulse, up, leg lift. Really working the glutes there. Bring it back down four times. Three, four, bring it up for that pulse. You can keep that toe low. One more five. Switch legs. Two, three, four. Bring it up. Pulse. Two, three, four. Back down. Two, three, four. Bring it up. Find your balance. Or modify. Switch legs. Two times. Right here. Pulse at two. Switch legs. Reverse two times. Pulse it for two. Woo! Almost lost my balance. Actually, I kind of did. <laughs> All right. Now we have our pull down pulse. So you're going to be pulling it down for four times. And then we'll be pulsing right here. Here we go. Up, down. Woo, like you're grabbing something, just pulling it. Woo, you feel that resistance? Hold it here and pulse. Woo, back to the up and then down. Pull it. Woo. And pulse right here four times. Woo. And up. Singles. Practice your breathing. Last one right here and pulse it. Back to singles. Slight bend in those knees. Hold it here and pulse it. Finish out in singles. Rest. And now we go back to our top of the round. So that's heel touch coming up and then going back. And then we have a leg lift on each side. Here we go. Heel touch. Count four and go back four. Leg lift. Squat, leg lift. Bring it up four. Bring it back. Leg lift, squat, leg lift. Bring it up, bring it back. Leg lift, squat, leg lift. Bring it up, woo, and bring it back. Leg lift, finish out, squat, leg lift, rest. And now we have those reverse palms. So we're facing up and pulsing it. So palms to the ceiling, get in position, back is flat. Here we go. Work on that breathing to strengthen your pelvic floor. Push baby towards the spine as you breathe out. Zip everything up. Woo! Working multiple things right now. Back babe. <clears throat> Wait, or, weight is in your heels. You can squat a little bit lower too. Work those glutes more. Rest. Nicely done. And now we have our jumping jacks. Squat, 
So four jumping jacks, two step squats, four on the other side, and then make your way back. And get in position. Here we go. One, two, three, four, squat, two steps. And back again to four. And two step squat. Woo! Point those toes. Looking good. Squat it down. One, two, three, four, and squat it down. Woo! Woo! Five more seconds. Rest! And now we have those crushers, and then we have the pulsing. So four crushers, four pulsing. <clears throat> Couple more seconds. Here we go with our crushers. Use that resistance. Woo. We're gonna push it back, bring it forward, hold it here, pulse it, and then prayer. Back to singles with those crushers. Woo. Bring it to prayer and pulse it. Back to singles. Woo. You can do a side step like I am. Pulse it out. We're really pushing against those palms. Back to singles there. Push through. Pulse. Push those arms together. Rest. And now we have a reverse lunge. So we're doing four lunges, four lifts. Modify as you need to or grab something to hold on to for balance. Get in position, pulse or reverse lunge four times. Three, four, leg lift for those glutes. Two, three, four, back down, lunge. Woo! Back up. And switch legs. Reverse lunge four times, pulse it. And pulse it up. Back down, bring it up, slow and control, pulse it, switch legs, reverse lunge, one, two, switch legs, reverse lunge, keep it even, two, rest. Now we have our pull down with that pulse. It's our last move already, a little happy dance. All right, get in position. Pull it down, reach for it. I'm gonna do a side step with it. Hold it here and pulse it. Reach for it. Work that upper back. Woo. Pulse it down. Reach for it. Woo. And hold it here and pulse it. Push baby towards that spine. Make sure you're not arching your back. Keeping everything nice and tight. Hold it here and pulse it. It'd be easy to kind of stick your butt out. Don't want to do that, bring your butt in. Hold your core together. Pulse it. And we're in our cool down. Side step. That went by so fast. Oh, do a little sway here. Enjoy this cool down. Hug yourself. Did some good work. You can always grab if you want more workout. Grab another 15 minute workout and do it right after this. Whew. Bring an arm across, stretch it. Also, please make sure to subscribe, follow along, join the Fit Pregnancy Group for added support and motivation. This journey sometimes can feel lonely, even if you are surrounded by other people. It's nice to have that other, that lift in your mood, switch to the arms, and just being supportive with each other is huge. So naturally, that's a mood lifter. Hope to see you in the group. You can find it in the description below, the link. Go ahead and pull a quad back. We're gonna stretch that out. Right up into 
into that hip flexor. Ooh, find your balance. Nice. Say hi to baby. Switch sides. Breathe. Good. We're going to stretch out those glutes to help just release any tension too. If you're having any lower back pain, we're going to stretch out those glutes and the hip flexors. This will help release some. I do have a workout for stretching everything out so you can relieve some of that back pain or sciatica pain. Switch sides. You can push lightly on the inner thigh for a deeper stretch. Breathe into it to let your muscle release. Good. Now take it forward like a lunge. Try to push that back heel down. Really feel it into your hip flexor. I do have a slight bend in my knee. Adjust so you can feel that stretch. Switch sides. Hold it. If you like this workout, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think and share it with other mamas. That would be awesome for more to discover it. We're going to conclude with one deep breath right here. Inhale. And then exhale. Thank you so much for joining in on this workout. I hope to see you in more, and I especially hope to see you in the pregnancy group. Take good care and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.